Hi, welcome back. And today I've got another Henry Westons. It's the medium vintage rosé. Uh, and this particular one is a 2019 vintage. Um, again, on the back, it doesn't say a great deal. It tells me that it's suitable for vegans, vegetarians and celiacs. So that's you know nice to know if you've got dietary requirements. Um, it tells me that it's geographically protected. It's got their geographically protected logo on the back. But other than that, uh, it says uh, blush sparkling. So yeah, we've got a lovely blush in the clear bottle. Uh, so I'm expecting a lightly carbonated, uh, probably a naturally carbonated cider um, with the aroma of orange blossom. Apple blossom. You had one job. Don't. And a smooth rounded flavour. Okay, there's only one way we're going to find out if any of that makes any sense and that's to get it open. The, I tried, uh, the last rosé I tried was Aldi's Twisted Tree uh, and that was quite a sour, um, not in a bad way but it had little sour notes to it and I was quite impressed with that. Gave it a really interesting um, flavour. So I'm hoping something similar from this one. Okay. So, you know, it is carbonated. You can see the bubbles on the glass. Just, there we go. Um, but it doesn't look overly forced. Getting a a floral aroma, so I guess that's what they call the uh, apple blossom, but I couldn't tell you that's apple blossom. Okay, let's give this a go. It's a very light flavour, it's not sour at all. There's a sweetness there, but it's not overly sweet. Um, what's sweet? It's not like a Magnus. It's not Magnus sweet. So, but it's not a big depth of flavour. So it's not bad, but I wouldn't be shouting from the hilltops. Um, hmm. There's no taste of sort of alcohol through it. Uh, it's a 5.5 by volume, 500 ml bottle, but it's not. It's not anything. You know, you're not getting any of that at all. It it tastes really innocuous, in fact. Um, so yeah. So what do I really think of that? To be honest, I'm a little bit disappointed. I think I did three Henry Westons on the bounce and they were knocking them out of the park for me. Uh, this isn't bad, but it's a bit light. It's, it's, nothing, it's nothing to write home about. You know, you were not going to pen a letter to your old man telling him, you know, you found the elixir of life. Um, and compared to some of the other lighter ciders, like the Twisted Tree um, and uh, even some of these, so the last... Oh God, my memory's going. The last sort of Woodgate I did, the Cloudy Apple and the um, Apple and Elderflower, which I would describe as a light summer cider. It's, yeah, it's sort of on a par with those, but flavor-wise, uh, down a bit. So a little bit disappointed. Again, this is just my opinion. As with everything, search it out yourself, give it a go. Uh, you can let me know in the comments what you think. So, not bad, but if I'm being honest, I don't think I'd get this one again. So there you go. I hope you're liking these. If you are, please consider hitting the like and subscribe. Your support is uh, always appreciated. And as ever, be good to yourselves.